My name is Courtney McClymont. I am a dietitian by training and a diabetes educator. I fell into nutrition and dietetics accidentally. I took one nutrition class and fell in love with it. At the end of my schooling, I ended up knowing that I wanted to teach diabetes. I always like to start our class by reviewing our last week's successes and challenges. So we're going one by one and our participants are sharing things that they feel good about over the last week and some things that unfortunately they don't feel so good about. Everyone is sharing and we come to Amanda's little picture or square on Zoom. All we can see is the crown of her head, hands are over her face, and she is sobbing. The other group participants really wrapped themselves around her. They encouraged her. They shared their own stories of challenges and upset around being successful or not with some of the lifestyle change behaviors that we had been talking about for the last nine weeks. We had a couple of um, older women in the group and they just gave the best reassurance uh, to Amanda and the rest of the group that they had given up the notion of perfection a really long time ago. Amanda shared a lot of things that day with, with our group. Uh, she shared that she was discouraged and really disappointed in herself. She, for the first time, shared that she was a family practice physician and uh, just felt ashamed and embarrassed that she had a diagnosis of prediabetes. She felt that she should know what to do and should never have gotten into this, this place. She was feeling all of the weight physically and emotionally uh, that I think many young women uh, and young uh, mothers feel. By the end of the session, Amanda uh, seemed lighter. She was making jokes. She was uh, seemingly like she was back to her normal self. At the end of the program, Amanda shared that she was able to get over her embarrassment of having a prediabetes diagnosis that she now understood with the acceptance of the group that just because you know what to do doesn't mean that it's easy. She was successful in reducing her A1C and also making the changes that she had been working so hard throughout the program. Amanda's story really illuminates the true value of the diabetes prevention program because in healthcare, we're taught as providers that our job is about education. And in practice, what I've seen is that the true value of our job is supporting the people that we work with.